It's Thursday, February 5th, 2015. From Studio E at Michigan State University, it's the Beaumont Bulletin. Good evening, I'm Brian Brown. And I'm Katie Phillipson. Welcome to our first episode of 2015. With new year comes new anchors, as former Bulletin host Leah Sharon has been promoted to producer. Congratulations, Leah. Our first story tonight, the website shipyourenemiesglitter.com was recently sold for $85,000. The service, which allows you to send glitter to an enemy for $9.99, has been described as the best way to get back at those you hate while staying fabulous. The website works by sending an envelope, and then you... Hey, Brian! Leah left us an envelope full of helpful anchoring tips. Oh, well, let's open it. Okay! <laughs> Moving on. The 2015 Academy Award nominations were revealed recently. Best Picture nominees included Boyhood, American Sniper, and Selma because there's nothing we love more than a good coming-of-age film followed by a presentation of massive upheaval. American Sniper has received a lot of flack since its release, with documentary filmmaker Michael Moore going so far as to call snipers cowards on his Twitter account. Many responded negatively to Moore's tweet, including former U.S. Army Green Beret Brian Sykes, who called the filmmaker a Crisco-breathing waste of space and not worthy of being in the presence of a sniper. Well, shoot, that's a little harsh, don't you think? If you're going to take a cheap shot, at least be chivalrous and insult his mother first. Wear your manners, soldier. There's been a recent measles outbreak in Disneyland due to unvaccinated children. Proponents of vaccines argue that this is further proof children should be vaccinated against infectious diseases. However, we don't know what diseases they could get from being vaccinated, argue mothers who know better than scientists. Snyder Phillips Hall has put in place an anti-pot campaign featuring tastefully made posters with different marijuana puns to discourage smoking, such as let's be blunt and you know what's better than prison? Getting really high. I think that last one might be a typo. Regardless, the movement has faced considerable challenges since the announcement of KFC's Double Down Dog, a hot dog with fried chicken for a bun. Calling it their best thing yet, the Double Down Dog has posed quite a challenge to stoners everywhere, as the new dish, just like drugs, will slowly kill you. Remember, everything in moderation, people. Former Power Rangers actor Richard Medina has been placed in prison after stabbing his roommate with a sword. The act was triggered by Medina's PTSD when he heard his roommate shout, It's Morphin Time! A historic snowstorm hit the Greater Lansing area this week, blocking roads, trapping workers in their homes, and temporarily suspending operations of Michigan State University. It was the most excited students have been to see 10 inches in ages. Speaking of balls, the New England Patriots. Super Bowl Sunday was last weekend and it came with lots of controversy. The New England Patriots entered their sixth Super Bowl in the last 14 years after coming off an AFC Championship game in which they were accused of deflating 11 of the 12 balls used in the game. Officials and fans across the country complained that the Pats cheated and should have pumped their balls properly, although I'm pretty sure that would be flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct. The media worked their hardest to find a scapegoat, placing the blame on the locker room attendant as well as quarterback and Fabio impersonator Tom Brady. But the question remained, even as the biggest game of the year approached, who shriveled those balls? The NFL has all too eagerly grabbed at the issue, wanting to prove that the public that they do care about scandals that really matter, like those about balls. The Colts contend that underinflated balls were a performance uh, advantage for the Patriots, causing many sports pundits to scratch their heads. With the scandal being discovered after the Colts played with the Patriots' balls, experts are dismissing the claim as having nothing to do with the outcome of the game. After all, both teams ended up playing with the same sets of balls. But this hasn't stopped a full investigation, even though many spectators think that this event has been blown way out of proportion. Unlike the footballs? Thanks for that input. Patriots owner Robert Kraft was interviewed after the game Sunday and responded defensively. We won that game today and nobody touched the balls. However, hopefully the NFL can maintain some sense of decorum when not beating their girlfriends, that is. Nonetheless, the show had to go on, and so the Patriots took on the Seattle Seahawks in what was a Super Bowl filled with great hits, great scoring drives, and greatly depressing advertisements, including a nationwide ad starring a deceased child. Because nothing says buyer insurance like, don't you wish this was Sarah McLaughlin singing about dogs? One of the top ads of the night went to Fiat, whose spot featured a runaway male enhancement pill, a great example of really having to work for your boner. All in all, it was another great Super Bowl. We're glad that professional football can continue to have such a positive influence on the world. 
with the exception, of course, of the mental health issues, the racism, the cheating. The domestic violence, the drug usage. O.J. Simpson, the use of profanity. The cover-up of criminal investigations, the excessive suspensions. Right shark. Left shark. The collective bargaining disputes. The prison sentences. Animal cruelty, firearms. And the imitation of pooping out a football. Here's to another memorable season, NFL. A Swiss company is selling internationally unique baby names for $35,000. The creative team assembles a list of 15 to 25 names for parents' approval by combining different words. The company claims over 100 hours of labor are invested in these names, but all in all, it sounds like a job Google could do. However, here at the Bulletin, we've prepared a list of unique baby names for free. Use at your own risk. Anne Jemima and Chet Boyardee. And where there's a will, there's a half away. Crystal Beth and Mayor Juana. Suburban Meyer. Brady Broke. Zacha Really? Absolutely. A, B, C, D, E. Well, that looks like all the time we have for tonight. Thanks again for watching the Beaumont Bulletin on YouTube. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Bo Bulletin. Good night.